One, Nashid Abdul Khaliq. The silver lining. The silver lining, Nashid Abdul Khaliq. There he was, sitting in a New York City train station, next to his buddy Duke, wondering what will happen next. Bernard was only 16 years old and a troubled teenager. The police escorted the man before them and asked, is that them? Are they the ones who robbed you? Bernard looked up and saw a man who was their victim only two days ago and began wondering what life would be like in prison. The man said, no, that's not them. Bernard was surprised. He was sure that the man had seen them. But then it clicked. Only the day before, Bernard and Duke shaved their heads. And as a result, their victim did not recognize them. Good afternoon, contest chair. Judges, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, assalamu alaikum. Every cloud has a silver lining. A silver lining means to have hope, regardless to how desperate, dark, our situation may be. Allow me to share with you the story about Bernard's silver lining. Bernard was from a good family whose parents sent him to private elementary school where he was an A student. But when he graduated and went to the New York City public high schools, things changed. He started hanging with the wrong kind of people and following bad ways. At the age of 16, his father kicked him out the house because of his rebellious and disrespectful ways. Having no place to stay, he slept on roofs outside for a while until he could find a place to live. Free from his parents' home, he had no restrictions to keep him from living a very dangerous lifestyle. One incident was on a cold winter night at a Brooklyn train station. Bernard waited for the last passenger to get off the train in order to rob them. And as Bernard approached the passenger, the man turned, boom, and pulled a gun in his face. Caught and desperate, Bernard shouted, well, why are you going to pull a gun on me, man? I, I was just only trying to ask you which train to take from here to Manhattan. The man said firmly, I know exactly what you were going to do. Now turn around and walk. Bernard turned and walked, shaken terrified, too afraid to look back. But after walking for a good ways, he finally mustered the strength to look back. And ah, oh, the man with the gun was gone. Bernard felt a great sense of relief. Traumatic experiences like that and others bothered Bernard's soul. And he began a desperate search for something, something that could help change his life. But just as every cloud has a silver lining, there was hope for Bernard in his desperate state. He ferociously started reading many books, but it was not until he read some books about Islam 
that his life changed. The ideology of Islam liberated Bernard's mind from a negative self-perception. And he began a profound transformation that gave purpose to his life. He went from being a failing student in high school to eventually graduating from MIT to working for the largest computer company in the world, to becoming the president of his own computer consulting firm, and finally to working for a large oil company. I hope it won't surprise you if I tell you that Bernard changed his name to Nashin. And he's standing in front of you today. When I tell you that for every cloud there's a silver lining, that's not just words for me, but it's something that I lived. I was able to transform myself from New York City Bernard to Nashin. And I made another miraculous transformation when I joined Toastmasters. I became the first man in the history of Toastmasters to be known by the first name of his wife, <laughs> Mr. Akanke. <laughs> and, as, and as Mr. Akanke, I became a district speech champion, a Toastmaster of the year, and I accomplished many great things. But who would have thought that that same teenager sitting in the New York City train station would become your Toastmaster of the Year? Islam was my silver lining. But a silver lining could be many things. Other religions, a profound experience, traveling, even Toastmasters. <laughs> From it, we learn that regardless to how dark and despair our situation may be, there's always hope. I used to not want to tell people about the bad things I did before I changed my life because I wanted you to still like me after this speech. <laughs> but I took a chance today, and I hope that my life, my silver lining will inspire you when you feel hopeless, and I hope that you will still like me after this speech. Back to you, Toastmaster. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Glad to know that. <laughs> <laughs> 